Hello and welcome back to another lecture. When you use Terraform to create resources in AWS, Terraform will record the information about the resources it created in a Terraform state file. And the next time you go to update those resources, Terraform will use the state file to find those resources and update them accordingly. The state file is very crucial to how Terraform works. And in this lecture, we will create an S3 bucket to store our state file. Most companies store their Terraform state file in an S3 bucket, and they may ask you this question during your interview. You can read more about Terraform state file in this Terraform documentation. I will leave the link in the description. Let's go to the management console to create the S3 bucket we will use to store our state file. In the management console, I'm going to type S3 in the search box. Then select S3 under services. In the S3 management console, click create bucket. Give your S3 bucket a name. And remember the name of your S3 bucket has to be unique. So I'll type something like this. To give you an idea, you can call your S3 bucket, your name, dash Terraform remote state. Once you've given your S3 bucket a name, we will create this S3 bucket in the US East region. Then we will scroll down. Under bucket versioning, enable it. Then scroll down and click create bucket. There you go. We have successfully created the S3 bucket we will store our Terraform state file in. If you have any question on this lecture or there's any part you don't understand, Please leave your questions below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.